Hey guys, it's another day. I recently ordered stuff from Timu. I honestly just needed one item and I caved and bought like a ton. They're just like some sewing things and possibly some accessories. So we're gonna open it. So let's see what's in it. Come on. I don't wanna cut anything. I'm just scared something's broken. They put something in a box here. Oh, come on. Hopefully they got my order right, right? Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. It's like really heavy too. I have literally <laughs> been wanting to cave and get something like this for so long. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is so gorgeous. That is beautiful. It's really heavy too. Come on, focus. So here it is in all its glory. It is actually really pretty. I love that like more copper pinkish tone to it. What the crap? That is so pretty. I'm really happy about that one. I ordered two crowns, so let's see what the second one looks like. My dressmaking is very, I should say my, a lot of my ideas are very princess, but also fairy tale. I have so many ideas like that, so I thought getting a crown would be a nice touch to my photos and my dresses. Looks like this one is falling apart. Literally, there are pieces in this bag, gems that are supposed to be on it. And it's also like kind of crooked. Looks like it was just broken and stuff. We'll have to glue some pieces back on. It's actually kind of crooked too. And I don't wanna like break it, but this one's a little bit not in the best condition and they should have put it in a box, but it is still really pretty. Let's put this one on. I'm sure I could fix it and it'll be fine. The pieces, they're like in here, so we'll have to fix that. So I got some zippers, just white zippers, because they're really cheap and I'm cheap. Oh yeah, these little thingies. These are for when you put elastic in something, you can like pinch the elastic and literally just thread this little thing through that holds the elastic. Since I do a lot of stuff with elastic, instead of doing a safety pin, I thought I would try that, because why not? Let's see, what is this? Oh yeah, I don't know if this is gonna work, but it was also really cheap. It is for ironing and you can do like high heat. I don't know how legit it is. We'll have to test it out. I'm kind of worried. If anything, it was cheap, so we'll try it. I also got a, another size. Oh yeah, just to kind of show you a little bit more. Like a mesh. It feels really cheap. Like I'm like, oh, can this work? But okay. So this is the main reason I even ordered from Timu because I was looking for something like this and then it came up and that's when I got interested. What the heck was that? Weird. I saw something like pass by the window. That was weird. I thought my husband like randomly came home. I was like, what? This is like great for creating buttonholes that are like equally apart. I've been wanting one of these for a very long time, but for some reason I just never bought it. Thought I'd try it. It was only like five bucks. Seems to be what I needed. If it's not the best, I can find another one online. Another thing I got too was this magnetic seam guide. I was like, hmm, that, oh my gosh, this battery is dying. Are you kidding me? Okay, so we're gonna just go really fast. I got a garment bag. I got these cool rose gold scissors. I got some colorful zippers just for the heck of it. I'll we'll have to see what that is after you know. Some like stuff for head pieces, more sewing gear. My gosh, I'm running out of time. More feet for the sewing, some needles for the sewing machine, and more of the decorative stuff for the headband. So yeah. Okay, so I know my battery's dying, but I just wanted to really, really quickly show you what this little rolled up thing was. It was a prism that I totally forgot I got because I thought it'd be so cool to use like that for photos. Like, look how cool that is. I mean, come on, you gotta admit, that's pretty cool. <laughs> That's so cool. I've always wanted to try it, so I figured why not? I threw it in there, it's really pretty. I need to have like a little bag or something that protects it, so we're just gonna roll it back up and it's little foam stuff it came with. That is pretty much the last of the haul. I know I rushed it earlier, but I also tested these scissors. They're okay, I don't know, they just, I don't know, they're okay. They're like, whatever. They're just cool looking, to be honest. There's really not much else to show that I didn't already show, so that's the last of my haul. Now I have to go charge this battery. Honestly, I was gonna Gonna get makeup on i was gonna get all ready it's been a week and my son has been different this week 
and I haven't been getting the best sleep. I also have had a random belly ache off and on for the last two days. I forget about it because it was only in the morning yesterday, but now today it's in the morning again, but a little longer. I'm just gonna be real. Like, I'm a mom. I just wanted to share my team order, so I already had an order before, and this is my second one. I'm combining them in one video, which is this video. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I just know that I ordered from Timu twice. I had reason for both times. So I hope that you enjoyed this random Timu haul. And also, I'm sorry that I am just presented like a hobo mom, but that's just who I am. I'm also in the middle of making my sister's wedding dress, so. <laughs> this is my second order. As you can see, it says Timu. <laughs> Let's get open. Open a little slot here. I feel like how does everything I ordered fit in this? little bag but okay looks like they have a box in here i feel like things arrive broken oh here's my weighted hula hoop it's a, it's a picture on the box i really wanted to do this because i saw it all over tiktok and on top of that i also really wanted to do a 30 day challenge with it along with sugar fasting so we will see okay, let's open it. okay looking like what it says is here's the weight it doesn't seem too heavy but it's heavy enough i guess these are the links. You put them around yourself. I don't, oh, swipe the switch. Oh, okay, cool, that's easy. I don't know where my waist is at right now, but I am excited to try this. Here's the little weight that you put in the track. We'll see how that goes. I plan on doing a TikTok for this challenge, just for the heck of it, just for fun. Comes with directions as well. Next, I don't even remember half the things I ordered. Oh yeah, no, I remember this. This is a mesh bag for creating. Oh my gosh, that's huge. The heck? Oh my gosh. So when I make coconut milk, my bag that I had, that it came with, my thing came with, it. the seam was ripping and coming undone. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get a new one. But I did not expect it to be this big. I didn't really think about the measurements and everything they put is like technically always in centimeters. I don't know centimeters. I have to convert it. Another thing that I got is super random. It's for when you do hair. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is great. So when I cut my husband's hair, you can put it like this <laughs> above their head for like short hair, so for him. And then you attach that with the Velcro and then it's supposed to like collect the hair inside. I don't know, it was a dollar. <laughs> I mean, at that point, I'm just like, why not, right? And that's cool if you could just like fold it away like that. Well, if I could, um, I guess it doesn't come with something to help it stay folded. Anyway, so I'll test that out later. And then, that's tiny as heck. I got this little applique. That is tiny. I think I ordered two of these because I figured they'd be small, but I thought that would be cute, like on a dress, maybe somewhere on the bodice, and it's pink. I've been really into pink. Where's the other one? Here's the other one. I got two because I thought that one would be too small. Apparently I was correct. Another thing, well that's tiny. I didn't expect this to be this tiny, but I got these. I was curious about using them on a dress. I just love gems and like clear gems and whatnot in general. So I wanted to just give it a go. I did not expect it to be this tiny. I am kind of like, surprised by that like super tiny but also could just be exactly what i needed but oh my gosh come on look at that so shiny so that's kind of exciting these are tiny why did they make it seem so big on the picture and the color is so different these are tiny i guess it works for my scrunchies look at that it says thanks for supporting my small business i swear on the picture i was like i'm thinking they're the size of this basically Literally, that's what it looked like. Wow, I did not look to see what size they are. Okay, here's another random but fun thing. I don't need to open it, I guess. So this is an egg yolk separator. And I got this for making macarons. Thought maybe it'd help. I was digging my hand in and that definitely works, but I just cannot stand the feeling of egg yolks. Ugh. Another thing I got was this rat tail cord for dressmaking. I got red. It's really bright red though, so I'm kind of thinking this. I don't know. We'll see. I also got it in white for the white dresses that I make. That's for the loops when I do the corset lacy. I figured I'd try that. Another, do they even try? 
Let's hope it's not broken. Another thing I got is this rechargeable facial hair thingy that is literally falling apart. But it looks like it's in working order. I just have to charge it. Yeah, this should be fine. Maybe. Another thing I got is this eyeshadow. It's like this dual. Let me show you. Ooh, I wonder if I can test it out today. Interesting. Cool. It has like two colors. I guess you just go like that. Does it even work? Let me see if I can do it on my hand. Oh yeah, it does work. I don't know. I like to try things. It was cheap. Now it's on my hand, but okay. There's, oh yeah. Okay, let me do this one first. So this is a miniature sewing machine that I thought looked so cute. Look how tiny that is. Oh my gosh. I don't think this other camera is gonna focus. Look at that, it's so cute and little. But this is like adorable. I was actually, I wanted to get this for my friend and I wish I would have got two because now I want one. I still think I'll give it to her though. Is that eyeshadow on me? No, okay, I need like, wow. It kind of spreads really nicely. Last but not least is another headband or head piece, whatever you want to call it. Now I'm gonna hope it's not broken. This one's a little small, but so pretty. I'm just worried, like the way they pack it is the best way, I don't know. It's very whimsical. Look at that. I'm not 100% sure about these feathers here. They're like bent. I don't know, they tried. I kind of want to like make stuff like this myself. Anyway, I really like it, I think it's super cute. It's like a great little headpiece for a photo shoot. I don't know how you would put it on the head, but I'm sure a hairstylist could figure it out. Anyway, that's the last of the haul. I really need to stop shopping. Hopefully, I don't get tempted again. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this Timu haul. I know it wasn't anything fancy. I haven't even really cleaned much in my sewing room. There wasn't many sewing things, but there was a few, like I got the applique, the rat tail cord, little thank you stickers that are super tiny, some decorative gems that I was gonna try on like a dress or something. Technically, the little sewing machine is sewing related. <laughs> it's like a half and half personal random stuff as well as you know whatever anyway that's it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you liked the video or just the random things i got if you're considering going to timu i mean it's cheap i don't know if it's the best company to support or anything honestly i was just trying it because i saw some things that i wanted but i haven't like done much research i do know though that does include fast fashion on it okay so the company like gets from sellers like it's like a marketplace buying from you know buying one thing doesn't mean you're supporting like the fast fashion necessarily as far as i see it it just means like wherever these items came from so whoever this came from and and wherever this came from, I don't really know. I don't know, it's weird. I tried to look into it, read into it. That's what I understood. So it is a little different than some of these other websites and they're headquartered in America. I I like supporting American, because I'm an American. I like supporting American businesses, but this one's very borderline because I'm pretty sure they get their items from all, all over. I have no idea. So I have yet to look more into it, but I want to try it nonetheless because last time, which I already showed in my last little haul, I needed one of these. Timu happened to have it. It may not be the best and I might eventually have to get another one But it was at least like a cheap one that I could consider getting. Thank you for watching Please subscribe if you want to see more content related to sewing This just happened to be a random Timu haul But I wanted to show some of some of the little sewing bits that I got in it And also I figured why not just show all the random other stuff that I got My main reason for making this order this time though was this thing I really wanted to try it out just because I saw it all over online I figured why not okay anyway bye guys